I'm Brittany Yannick. And I'm Keilani Knuckles, and we will be doing the growling gummy bear experiment. In this experiment, you'll be able to see the amount of energy that is extracted through the process of oxidation of sucrose, in this case, the sugar in the gummy bear. The sugar is what fuels the experiment, and it fuels the chemical reaction. And because of this, the combustion occurs. Uh, for it, you will need 10 grams of the potassium chlorate, which we already have melted, and a uh, gummy bear. As you can always already see, we melted the potassium chlorate just to save time, and you melt it with the Bunsen burner, which we already did. So what we're going to do now is drop in the gummy bear. You must make sure that the hood is completely closed after you drop the gummy bear in, and turn the gas off as well. So what happened during that reaction is the potassium chlorate burned into potassium chloride and oxygen, which then produced a combustion reaction. So the excess oxygen had a combustion reaction with the sucrose that was in the gummy bear, which then in the end formed carbon, carbon dioxide, and water. As you can see in here, we can't really take it off to show you the carbon, but we already performed an experiment, so you can see the carbon in the bottom is the black that was produced. Uh, in this experiment, when the potassium burns, it burns violet colored. Um, it's due to the content that's in the mineral. It's a metal, and it's also a salt substitute, and all salt substitutes burn violet. And the reason why we call it the growling gummy bear is because of the noise that the reaction makes. Uh, this information came from the University of Idaho's chemical department.